This is Rachel Jurst with the Channel 3 News Update. Another protest outside the Fullerton Police Department was held Saturday. Activists are keeping up the pressure on the street and in the city council chamber. It's a shame. It's an utter shame that I have to live in this city with such buffoons. Some harsh words were thrown at Fullerton Mayor Dick Jones, Mayor Pro Dem Don Bankhead, and Council Member Pat McKinley at an urgently called Friday morning council meeting. All three are targets of a recall campaign begun by Fullerton activists Don Bruchala and Chris Thompson. I came here today to let um, the councilmen know, um, Pat McKinley, Don Bankhead, Dick Jones, that we are going to be um, recording with the city clerk today the uh, notices of intent to recall that we have legally served to you gentlemen. The council, including members Sharon Quirksilva and Bruce Whitaker, were meeting to discuss hiring consultant Michael Jenico, who oversees the L.A. County Sheriff's Department Office of Independent Review. The council is expected to approve hiring Jenico to investigate the Kelly Thomas case next week. Thomas was homeless and mentally ill when he had a July 5th altercation with Fullerton police officers that resulted in his death. And that is Pat McKinley, Pat McKinley, goes with that. The filing gets the ball rolling on the recall process. That will mean getting valid signatures from 15% of Fullerton's estimated 70,000 registered voters. People we spoke to at Saturday protests are ready to roll up their sleeves. We're not anticipating any problem getting that. I think we have enough uh, public sentiment um, in our favor. Um, to be safe, we're hoping to get at least 12,000, just for, for various names that might get thrown out for any reason. Ron Thomas attends every protest. He says he is disappointed by the results of a meeting yesterday with District Attorney Tony Rakakis. The DA has said publicly that he has seen nothing in the evidence so far that points to an attempt on the part of officers to kill Thomas. He didn't see intent, but he may find malice. You can still go after uh, indictment for murder with malice. But I needed the DA to understand where I'm coming from on this. Thomas filed a claim with the city of Fullerton, part of the progress for taking the city to court in the civil lawsuit. This is Rachel Juris with a Channel 3 News Update.